We all have those glory days, memories and times of our life we want to be sure and remember. I'm Julie Faye Fan Balzer, and our first guest is Alexandra Stapleton with a really cool memory canvas. Hi. Hi, Julie. I love this. This is beautiful, and I, it's a great way to incorporate a photo into your home decor. It really is. It's a really fun project, and today we're going to be creating our own stencils. Ooh, now you're speaking my language. There you go. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to be using my electronic cutter. I've already loaded in a really pretty butterfly design, and I'm just using an acrylic sheet. You can see here, it's just, a, it's called a stencil blank sheet. So I put it on my mat, and I'm just going to set it cutting while we're going to be playing with some fun paints here. I really like making my own stencils because then you can customize the size, you can customize exactly how, you know, what the design is. Like, you don't have to go searching through the store to find the right thing. Right. You just make it. Exactly. And the great thing with this is you end up with two parts. So I have this pretty butterfly, but then I have the blank. And you can see on the sample, I've done it two ways. I have the blank and I have the lacy butterfly. So you can use both parts of those stencils as well. Super cool. So let's use one of them. And I'm gonna use a special mousse. So this mousse adds texture, but we're gonna heat it and then something special happens to it. Now this is the white version. There are colors as well. It's kind of pearlized, isn't it? Like it it's is. not a flat white like, uh, like gesso or modeling paste or something right. like that. It has mica in it, so it's gonna have a beautiful shimmer. And we're gonna add some powders that has even more mica to add even more shimmer, because I'm all about the glitter and shimmer in my projects. <laughs> so basically, when you add those, whoa, that did not turn the color I thought it was going to. That was amazing. I thought it was just gonna be a very pale purple. So what are all the pinks and blues? So this and... is a color burst. So we okay. have purple, pink, blue, just a spritz of water on there. And then I'm just going to work it in with my palette knife. And you can see here. So this actually reminds me of like coloring, um, like royal icing or frosting or something like that, where you are really just, however much you put in of, you know, your food coloring or whatever, the same idea, right? It's right. gonna change the color. Yes, and the more you work it in, the more solid. If I work it in less, you can see I get kind of all of those I ripples. love variegated color, oh my gosh, yes. So I now, can... are you working on a piece of glass to mix? So this is a glass mat, and then this is a non-stick mat. Okay. So it makes easy clear up. So all I'm gonna do, is just like icing a cake. Look at that color variation where it's not one. This is the, people always say like, why do you mix your own colors? And I am a huge proponent of it because I think that when you use a color straight out of a tube or a can, what you're getting is somebody else's flat color. When you mix your own colors, that's when the magic happens and you really are putting yourself into the art. Yes. And what I like to do when I use these um, outline stencils is I go a bit over the edge so you get to see that outline. And I do want to point out Alexandra, something that you did that I think shows the expert crafter you are, which is even when stuff shifts, you don't panic, you don't worry, you just put it back down. If it's not perfect, that's not the goal. No, and that's the thing about mixed media. Now, you know I'm not a mixed media artist. My We are all mixed media artists. Well, I'm a bit too formal. I'm a card maker okay. normally. So there's some cards at the front there, and that's mm -hmm. normally what I do, but I had real fun playing with these mediums, and it was kind of nice to do something a little bit different. So you can see here, this is beautiful. You've got some some wonderful shimmer in here and I put a crackle base down so it really kind of highlights the the shimmers and things in there and now I'm gonna take my heat gun and I'm gonna heat it and if you watch it's gonna change it's gonna go a little bit dull but something else is gonna happen to it that really really makes the magic happen so is there any rules about how close or far with the heat gun you want to be no you probably be around about an inch away um, and you don't want to use a hairdryer. This is a special heat gun. It gets to about 400 degrees. And it's about to start going. I can kind of start to see this those changes. This reminds me of like when you're using embossing powder and ooh, I can see it traveling down. Basically, it's getting so much texture. Like it's yes. both darkening and it's it's not quite like a crackle finish. It's more like alligator skin mm -hmm. or little bumps of some kind, I would say. That's super cool. So is it at, so it's drying it, I assume, and it as it dries it, it does this. Now, if you didn't use a heat gun, if you like, let's say, left it overnight, would it work or it has to be heat activated? It has to be heat activated, but I'm gonna just leave that half for now. You can really see the comparison now yes. between this side and that side. The color is so much richer and deeper and the texture is amazing. Exactly, but what you'll find is if you left this to dry overnight and then heated it, you'll get a different effect from the heat. Really? So it's really fun to play around with like, how thick it is, how dry it is, and you'll find you get different textures in there. 
This is a glitter duster. So this is controlled glitter. There is no such thing as controlled glitter. Look. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's just adding like fairy sparkles on it. And it's just gonna stick where the glue is, it's right? It's just gonna stick where the glue is. This was a clear glue, so anywhere that the glitter hasn't stuck to, and you just get that little hint. So cool. And there's no big mess, I don't need a piece of paper, and then worry about putting it back in the jar. So how do we include now the photo, right? The, the time of our life, the memory we want to remember into our canvas. So I used a die cut, and this is a two piece die cut that I used here. So I did the first one, I cut just as a blank and okay. stuck my photo on. And then the second one, I used the blank and the oval that was in the middle, so that's how I got this. And I added some double-sided adhesive, which means I can then just peel off this top piece. And you're basically gonna create a sandwich now so that you didn't need to be neat and nice or anything like that about cutting the photo because it's just gonna fit right in there. Exactly. Super duper easy, I love that. So then this will fit perfectly on top because it's nice and symmetrical. And then you can just add it onto the canvas exactly. and have something so special and unique. I love it. Yeah, and you can decorate it any way you like. And it seems like our stencil is done. Yes, it is. I can't wait to see that. But now, of course, we can make so many more different projects. Yes. And you can reuse these stencils over and over again. And that is the nice thing, of course, about a plastic stencil, which is that you don't have to worry about getting it dirty or wet or anything like that because it's meant to be used and abused. Yes, but the stencils, even on paper, make a piece of art in themselves too. And they can incorporate them as collage. Yes. I mean, it just keeps going and going. Right. And if we look at some of the finished ones, I can see how you have incorporated the photos, whether somebody has a whimsical style or a more sort of artsy style, it is one of those things that you hang in your house and people want to get closer, look at it, touch it. Yes. Is it okay if people it's touch okay the art? It's okay to touch it. Okay, and we even, you, I can see some gilding on the edges. Mm -hmm. Just a lot of really fun textural techniques Definitely. that get people excited. Yeah.